Good morning, everyone. It is day nine, and I think it is 4.20 in the morning, and the sun is up. So maybe we're in a new time zone? I'll have to check. We had about five to seven knots of breeze throughout the night, and pretty much sailed the whole night, which is good because we motored the whole day yesterday. So it was a beautiful night with a pretty full moon. Hey everyone, we're Sailing Sweet Ruka. I'm Kate, this is Curtis, and Roxy the dog. And we're here to sail around the world via Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. We like to take the sea less traveled and are ready for some serious offshore sailing. So come along for the ride and click subscribe. The weather on our Atlantic crossing continued to be upwind, and it was time for an early morning tack. The big number two Genoa sometimes has a tough time making it around our inner force day, so the autopilot and I did a quick furl through the wind to get the sail to the other side. As soon as the clue was in front of the inner force day, auto steered the boat down and I made my final adjustments in the heading and fine tuned the sails to continue on the second half of our journey. Sailing, buddy? Yeah! Look at these waves! Look at that! Oh, so cute! Oh, picture perfect! It was day nine, and you guessed it, the winds were lightning. So, to improve our speed, we rolled up the stack pack for less interference and maximum usage of the sail. Once the sails were set, we decided it was good enough conditions to risk some drone flying under full canvas. Okay, ready? Pull them out there. Pull a little higher if you can, out a little further. Okay, we got them. Hold on tight, please. Get starting. Oh my goodness. The adrenaline was really going flying the drone. <laughs> it's much harder to get into the boat than it looks. You really have to fly it sideways and backwards and then the boat's moving up and down and then there's leeway in the boat and then there's you know just all kinds of weird stuff going on. My heart's still beating. My hands are like shaking but we did it and we got some sweet shots that hopefully will look really really cool of the Ruka under sail smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Enjoy!
We sailed along on a beautiful day, seemingly boring in its niceness, until finally a little excitement came along. Check this out. We've got a huge super tanker headed our way. It's called the Wafra. It's over a thousand feet long and almost 200 feet wide. Hopefully it's going to pass within about three miles of us, so we should be able to see it off our transom in about a half an hour to 45 minutes. Check it out. All right, the big tanker just came into view. Check this out. He is huge. I've never seen a ship this big. What do you think? So cool. What do you think, Roxy? <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's it so just cool. disappeared behind the waves. That's how big the waves are. That's why I have my seasickness pills. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Now you see him? Now you go. <laughs> Pots going there. Yep. We're gonna have chorizo burritos. And I am cooking burritos upwind like an idiot. But I feel like it, and that's what I'm doing. So the timer is set. Rice is a look a looking. Crack a lacking. Cook a looking. That's a new one I just coined. Feel free to use it. Hashtag cook a looking. If it's looking good, you're cooking good. Hashtag cook looking. That's really good, babe. I love it. She's losing it, people. <laughs> She's losing it. No, tell me. Where is the chorizo? It's right here. It's on this side? Yeah. Today we've got our chorizo burritos. Inside these wraps we've got chorizo, rice, black beans. Mm. I'm sure it's a combination that's maybe not been done before quite exactly. Let's set a timer for them to cool because if I know Curtis and I, we will certainly burn our mouths trying <laughs> to eat them right away. Yay. So I'm gonna make us wait till they cool a little All bit. Right. Hopefully they're delicious. It's the morning of the day and it's blowing anywhere from 10 to 15 knots. Uh, we did turn the motor on from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. as we saw three knots of breeze and then it filled right back in and we are chugging along on our upwind angle here with our J2 and our full main. This is a pretty comfortable speed so Doing six knots of boat speed. Seas aren't too big, just a little bit of top and sailing right over. Camera shy, buddy. I know.
The boat was chugging along upwind, and on my shift, I decided to do a little reading and bundle up while keeping watch. We had made it into double-digit days out here at sea, and things were getting a bit chillier. These quiet, early morning watches are sometimes the best. Everybody, it is day 10 and we are sailing upwind and I am ready to give the autopilot a break and do some hand steering. Maybe we can get through some of these waves a little bit better. It's pretty sunny out, pretty nice, good temperature, so I'm going to give it a go. After it finally warmed up a bit, I headed outside and clipped in while on deck alone as I enjoyed the warmth of the sun and the wheel under my fingertips. It was upwind still, but calm, and at least we were headed mostly towards the mark. I'm out of breath. She whispered gently to the silent tree. I won't forget. You know the secrets of the late night breeze. It's all pretend. Don't you worry now, don't you worry now, my love. Good morning, Ruka sailors. It is day 11. We are reaching along right now at seven plus knots in fairly smooth water. For the time being, this is what it looks like. Let's go take a look. What started as a beautiful morning turned into a bit of an overcast day. It was nearly time for a change in sail setup. As you can see, we're going right around seven knots or so, and we're headed almost east. We've come a little bit north yesterday and the day before, and now the wind is shifting out of the south, so we're going to ride that uh, east at a pretty fast pace. We're just going to keep working and make the boat go. It's really all we can do. There's a couple of models that want us to go way far north. Uh, there's still models that want us to go south. The models are once again up in the air, roll the dice. We'll see how this goes and we'll keep working on routing the next couple days and go from there. But right now we're happy campers. It's smooth water. We're going fast-ish for a sailboat and life is good. Time for breakfast and coffee. See y'all later. Boat speed before. Let's see what the boat speed looks like after the staysail goes up. <laughs> to try and get a bit more speed in this light air, we decided to hoist the staysail. First, Curtis grabbed a secondary sheet and attached it to a removable block on the tow rail to create an outside lead. He ran the sheet through a block at the stern and then towards the block near the primary winch. Once cleated, he could ease off the old jib sheet. Yeah. 
Curtis then reconnects the windward side check stay and afterwards hoists the staysail. I add some final trim to the staysail and after the boat settles in, we check our speed. What do you think, babe? A little stay slow with your coffee? A bit more boat speed. It looks cool anyway. So what's happened since the staysail has gone up? Oh, uh, boat speed's gone up just a smidge. All in all, really, the staysail gives you a little bit more sail area and it does in increase the velocity of the speed of the wind through the slot between the jib and the main. That's the point of it. you got to get it right. You've got to have the space right between the jib and the main uh, to be able to make it happen. But if you can do it, it helps with speed just a little bit. Not a whole lot where it's like, oh my God, that's totally worth it. Uh, it is a little bit of work to put together and get flying, but uh, it's fun. It makes it a little bit faster and the sail was up there anyway. I don't think I would have done this if the sail wasn't already on deck, but we are keeping it on deck because there's forecast for uh, above 20 knots, maybe 25 knots of upwind work a little bit later. Uh, maybe in a few days. We don't know for sure, but for now we're just going to leave the sail up there and then we can play with it like this too. Next week on Sweet Ruka, we find out why the boat is going much slower than expected. And could this be the last drone flight?